Help us, Ya Rabbal Alameen, Ya Mu'ayn Al-Ajizin, A'inna, Ala Dhikrika wa Shukrika wa Husni Ibadatik. O our Lord, help us for your zikr, for your shukr, and for the good worship to you. That is the dua of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dastur ya Sayyidi wa Mawlai, ya Sultan al-Awliya. Allah, 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 Allah. Allah, Allah, Aziz Allah, 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 Kareem Allah, 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 Subhan Allah, Allah, Allah. Allah, 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 Sultan Allah. Ya Rabbi, you are the Sultan. We are your weak servants, Ya Rabbal Alameen. Oh, our Lord, we are asking that you remove all the difficulties that we are having, Ya Rabbi. Any difficulties that we are having financially, any difficulties that we are having legally, any difficulties that we are having health-wise, Ya Rabbi, medically, any Difficulties we are having with banks, with governments, with courts, with friends, with neighbors, Ya Rabbi. We are asking that you remove all of them, that you replace them with goodness, Ya Rabbi Al-Alameen. Make us from your good servants. Keep our children on the right path, on the sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the young generations. And keep husbands and wives happy together. Make between them, Ya Rabbi, compassion. Make between them love and mercy. Make between the parents and the children also love, mercy, and respect, Ya Rabbi. The ones that are quarreling with their parents, the ones that are quarreling with their sisters, the ones that are quarreling with their aunties or uncles or cousins, Ya Rabbi, make peace between their hearts. Show them, Ya Rabbi, your kindness, Ya Rabbi, and bring them together, Ya Rabbi, for the sake and honor of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his Ahlul Bayt, Ya Rabbi, in this holy month, we are asking that you are making us always, Ya Rabbi, on the right path. يا رب العالمين آمين فاتحة بسم الله آمين الحمد لله we belong to big ones we have followed grand ones big saints our the one that we follow first of all is رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the guide for all humanity, all humanity. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves him. So when you love somebody, you're jealous. So what happens? You shut the blinds so nobody can see your beloved. Yeah, you close the doors so nobody can peek at your beloved. So, uh, Ahlul Haqiqa, Awliyaullah have said, the reason that so many people throughout history did not believe in Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala does not want them to see his beloved. I'rad al It is said, Qibabu ghiratihi li habibihi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'rad, the turning away of the ones that turned away. It is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his, his, the domes of his jealousy protecting his beloved. He doesn't want his beloved to be seen by everybody. You have to be special. You have to be special and you have to be mahram, ahlul bayt. You have to be from ahlul bayt to see the ones inside the bayt, inside the house. Or you have to be a friend or a guest that is allowed to enter into the house to see if you're allowed to see. So when people turned away from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's jealousy that nobody except what who, whom he wants sees his beloved. That's why. Second, awliyaullah have said, اعتراض المعترضين. So first is i'rad. I'rad means turning away. I'tirad with a ta means objection. I'tirad al-mu'taridin. 
the objection of the ones that objected. It is nothing but the walls, the majestic walls of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protecting his knowledge and his book from these ones. People think that it's in their hands that they know Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not honor us by knowing his beloved, you would never know him. وَتَرَاهُمْ يَنْظُرُونَ إِلَيْكَ وَهُمْ لَا يُبْصِرُونَ you see them looking at you, oh my beloved, but they don't see. One time, one, well, one king came to Waliullah Abu al-Hasan al-Kharqani. He said, tell me about Abu Yazid. Abu al-Hasan al-Kharqani, Qaddas Allah Surruh, was the student of Abu Yazid al-Bastami, Qaddas Allah Surruh. He, to he told him, this king, tell me about Abu Yazid. He said, Abu Yazid is a person that who follows him, uh, who sees him, finds the way of Jannah. So this king said, eh, Abu Jahl saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He missed the way of Jannah. He did not find the way of Jannah. So this Sheikh Abu Hassan al-Kharqani said, O oh king, what Abu Jahl saw, was Muhammad bin Abdullah. He did not see Muhammad Rasulullah. He saw Muhammad bin Abdullah. And nowadays they keep saying Muhammad bin Abdullah. Well, say Muhammad Rasulullah. Why do you say that bin Abdullah? Why are you taking that Rasulullah's title, the title that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to him in Surah Al Fatih? Muhammadun. Rasulullah walladina ma'ahu ashidda'u alak. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Muhammad Rasulullah. Never in his holy book Allah said Muhammad bin Abdullah. He either called him Ya ayyuhan Nabi, honoring. Ya ayyuhan Rasul, honoring. Muhammadun Rasulullah, honoring. He never said Muhammad bin Abdullah. So this, this uh, Waliullah told the king, what Abu Jahl saw was Muhammad bin Abdullah. He did not see Muhammad Rasulullah. So looking at the Shaykh, you are seeing his surat, his picture, his image. He's like you, eating, drinking, sleeping, sitting. But there is something ma'nawi. There is something inside that you don't know. There is a title that is given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, so many awliyaullah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that gives them their title, not human beings. So many people nowadays, they're running after ijaza. Give me ijaza. I am your khalifa. I am your deputy. I am this, I am that. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam to meet him, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam said, وَقَالَ مُوسَ لِأَخِيهِ أُخْهَارُونَ أُخْلُفْنِي فِي قَوْمِ Musa alayhi salam, when he, want, when he wanted to go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to meet him, he told his brother Harun, أُخْلُفْنِي فِي قَوْمِ This is, I'm reading from Holy Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling. O oh, oh, my brother Harun, peace be upon all of them, all the prophets, and especially Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, be my khalifa, in my people. He came to the mountain and he said, Ya Rabbi, let me see you. He said, You won't see me, but look at the mountain. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him afterwards that. I did not allow you to see me because you did not see me in your, in your people. When you are leaving your people, who do you leave them to? When you are leaving your family on a trip, what do you say? Sayyidina um, Abu Hassan al-Shadli in his Hizb al-Bahar وَكُنْلِي خَلِيفَةً فِي أَهْلِي when I am leaving Ya Rabbi on Safar, on I'm taking a trip, you are my Khalifa. You are the one that is behind 
taking care of my family. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Atab, He reprimanded Musa alayhi salam. He said, you did not see me, you did not leave me behind to take care of your people. You assigned them to somebody else. Look at the iman. When, when, when a mu'min gets higher and higher in iman, he has to watch, he has to be careful what he says. He said, how come you did not see me in your people to take care of them? Because you did not see me there, you're not going to see me here. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what did he do? He did not assign a khalifa. He did not say, Hazrat al-Siddiq radiallahu anhu is my khalifa after me. He only made him uh, be the imam in salah when he was sick. When he was ill, when he was in his home, he asked that Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq lead people in salah, in namaz. But he did not, he did not say, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq is my deputy after me. Why? Because he saw Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the inside assigns khalifa. Rasulullah did not need to say this, was, this is one is behind me, after me. Because he knows Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala internally will assign khalifa for him at that time. Look at the difference. One still has ways to go. That's why he is in uh, sixth heaven, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam. He did not go higher because he has still ways to go. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam passed all the heavens, passed Arsh and beyond. He went to Qabu Qawsayn, Aw Adna, to, to a very, very close distance, the, uh, the arrow, the bow length, to bow length, or closer. Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has seen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's work, power, manifestation in everything, in all. He did not need to do it himself. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim one time he said that Musa alayhi salam when he was confronted by the sea what did he say? He said inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdeen with me is my lord inna ma'ya rabbi he will guide me what to do but he said with me is my lord Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam what did he say to Sayyidina Siddiq radiallahu an in the cave inna allaha ma'ana verily Allah is with us. So one saw Allah first and saw themselves with him. One saw himself first and saw his Lord with him. Do you understand? Do you see the subtlety? One said, Inna ma'ya Rabbi, with me is my Lord. And the other one said, Inna Allah ma'ana, Allah with us. Iman. Iman, that is the Iman that we have to get to. That you see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala everywhere, in everything. وَلَهُ فِي كُلِّ شَيْءٍ آيَةٍ تَدُلُّ عَلَىٰ أَنَّهُ وَاحِدٍ Sayyidina Muhyiddin ibn al-Arabi has said, He has in everything a sign showing you that He is one, that He is existing, that He is creating, that He is supporting. Who is giving the food of this little girl? Her mom. Her mom. Her mom is the first manifestation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's kindness and raziqiyah and supporting, giving the provision to that girl through the mom and the father. They are mazhar. They are the appearance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's holy name, al khaliq al razzaq You are not you. You are just an appearance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name, ar razzaq the one that gives rizq to that girl. That's how that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to that girl. He is providing her and you have made, you have made you the appearance of his holy name, al khaliq because she was in your womb, ar razzaq that because she's getting her sustenance inside and outside, through you. Through you. So you look at yourself and you don't see yourself. You see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are with him. Uh, the, the sweetness of Iman when it starts to trickle into the heart it gets sweeter and sweeter that's what they call zawq 
you have the knowledge of awraq papers papers that we all read on the shelves and you have the the knowledge of taste the sweet taste of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love when you start seeing him in everything that goes on in your life then you start smell you start tasting his closeness to you then you start wanting to be by yourself alone why because there's uns with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you get you get that feeling of you're not lonely anymore. Wherever you go, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you. And when He is with you, you are with everything. Through Him, you reach everything. When you are for Him, He is for you. One time I said this back home, and shall I repeat it again. Sayyidina Dawood alayhi salam, he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, Ya Rabbi, be for my son Sulaiman, as you were for me. He's, he's asking for his son, Sulaiman alayhi salam. Be for my son, Sulaiman, as you were for me. The answer came back. Oh, Dawood, tell your son to be for me as you were for me. I would be for him as I was for you. Do you? Tell your son to be for me as you were for me and I'll be for him as I was for you if you are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's for you he said in holy Quran billah, in surah al-baqarah in the beginning maybe first 30 verses I'm not sure about the count but in the first few pages he has created whatever is on earth for you lakum it is who that created lakum for you ma fil ard whatever is on earth on earth jami'a everything and he said wastana'tuka li nafsi i have taken you for myself he is telling sayyidna musa alayhi salam wastana'tuka li nafsi i have taken you for me awliya allah have said everything was created for you o human being he has created whatever is on earth, all of it for you. And also whatever is in heavens for you. All of them are because of you, O oh, Insan. But He created you for Him. He didn't create you for earth. He didn't create you for dunya. He said, I created dunya for you. That's why that hadith is true. So many... Uh, people they object on that hadith لو لك, لو لك, لما خلقت الأفلاك. if it weren't for you I would not create anything but this is Quran I created dunya for you insan but I wastanatuka li nafsi but I have taken you for me so awliyaullah they have said لا تشتغل بما هو لك عما أنت هو فتبقى بلا هو لا تشتغل بما لك. Don't be busy with what is for you. Don't be don't busy yourself with what is for you from what you are for. The translation might not be as good. لا تشتغل بما لك. Don't be busy with what is for you. عما أنت له. How do you say that in English? عما أنت له. Don't be busy with what is for you. Then what what you are for him you are for somebody so don't be busy with what is for you because you are for someone if you get busy with that and leave him you will be without him you remain without him so i'll repeat it again i am um, my english is not that good now we have we have uh, yeah you know you're, you can translate your libyan فهمتي ما هيك لا تشتغل لا تشتغل بما لك don't be busy with what is yours عما أنت له from what you are for for he that you are for don't be busy with what for you for he you are for فتبقى بلا هو you remain without him 
You are special, O oh, insan. You are for him. He has not created you for abatha. He has not created you for something that is nonsense that we run after in this dunya. We run after Google and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And <laughs> we get hooked up on that stuff. You are not for that. You are for him. When you are for him, you become his mazhar, his appearance. You become, you, be, you become the one that is the source of love on earth. You become the one that is source of mercy on earth. You become that is the source of alam on earth. You become the one that is source of hidayat on earth. You become the one that is source of wisdom on earth. Allah was illiterate, did not read or write. Where did he bring that knowledge from? If he was not a mazhar, if, it, if he was not appearance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's knowledge, if he were not the appearance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love and mercy, how come all that mercy was given to this world through him? You're, you are a mirror. Insan is a mirror. Is a mirror of what? Of anwari sifati jalalihi wa jamalihi. You are the mirror, mirror that reflects the light of his, beauty, of his beauty and majesty and perfection. Perfection. You're the mirror. You're, you're nothing except a mirror. Whatever you show to that mirror, it reflects. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to punish the unjust one, He sends Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to punish the unjust ones. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was not only the manifestation of Jamal, was not only the manifestation of beauty, he was the manifestation of Jalal. He was showing power when he needed to. He was taking revenge when he needed to. He was punishing when he needed to. It's two hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Jamal and Jalal, he created you with both sifat, with both characteristics and attributes. The attributes of beauty, and the attributes of power. So, you are a mirror. What, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to reflect something on this world, He reflects it through, through insan kamil, through the perfect reflection. That is the qutub of the time. There is qutub of the time. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks at that qutub. He looks at the mirror. From His divine presence comes out lights. Reflects onto that mirror, onto this world. That's, that's who they are. They're not anymore human or creature or picture or appearance. They have gone. They're not, they're not there anymore. They're just a pure mirror. You put in front of it any image you want. It doesn't say, I don't like this image. It takes it. The mirror takes it and reflects it. Reflects it. So, so لا تشتغل بما لك عما أنت له don't be busy with what is yours <laughs> from what you are for and, you, you, and then you remain without him. فَتَبْقَى بِلَا هُوَ إِنسَانْ كَامِلْ And that's our, that is our way. Rasulullah sallallahu has said إِنَّ الْقَلْبَ لَا يَصْدَأْ Your heart will collect rust. وَجِلَاءُ And the way to clean it Zikrullah and Tilawatul Quran also in one of the hadiths that you Quran is zikr anyway. So the way to clean that heart of yours, that mirror, is zikrullah. Whether it's Quran al Karim or you are mentioning Asma Allah al Husna or you are in, inside of yourself by yourself, you making remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all of that is to clean the heart. I heard one story from my father, Mawlana Sheikh Hisham, and inshallah, I'll say it here. It's a, it's a nice story. It will tell you, one king, one time, he got a group of artists, two groups. One group, and he, he put a divider between them. And he showed them a picture. And he said, draw this picture. So one group of artists started drawing the picture. And the other group, what did they do, Sayyid? They polished the wall. <laughs> ones are very, mashallah, with all the colors and drawing. And the other ones are just 
polishing the wall. <laughs> so, <laughs> so after I don't know how many days, let's say 40 days, he said, okay, show me what you have done. They took the curtain and they looked, the artists have, have uh, drawn a beautiful picture. The one that had the pen has drawn a beautiful picture. And the king looked at the other side. The other side's wall has become a mirror. <laughs> From the polishing that they have done, it reflected that image perfectly. They just polished it. So who's Sahib Al-Qalam? But in whose hand is the pen? Qalam Al-A'la. Qalam Al-A'la. Who, who is the one controlling the penman? Who is Sahib Al-Qalam? Who is the penman? The, the Qalam is writing. But who is holding it? So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is drawing his creation, he's drawing it perfectly. And when you are making zikrullah, you are readying yourself to reflect all of his creation onto you. That's why insan kamil knows all creation. That's why insan kamil is mercy to all creation. All creation is within him. That is one of one of the of the descriptions of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So what we do, we try to reflect from his mirror. We cannot say we reflect straight from Allah subhanahu wa taala. There is Muhammad Rasulullah. You cannot bypass him. He is the beloved. He is the Habib. You can be a run of Habib. You can be beloved of the beloved. You reflect from his heart. That's how the chain has come. All these grand sheikhs have polished their heart to a, to a certain degree that they reflect from the origin, which is Rasulullah in creation, that he reflects from the divine presence whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reflecting out. That's why he is the origin of everything. He is Rahma lil Alameen. All that Rahma comes to Alameen through Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How many lines can you draw through one point? Engineer? <laughs> How many lines can converge into one point? Eh, Sayyidina Ali said, I am the dot under the ba. <laughs> I am that point. He is the door of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There are, وَأْتُ الْبُيُوتَ مِنْ أَبْوَابِهَا Come to the houses through the doors. So we, our guide is Sayyidina Ali radiallahu an, and also Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Siddiq and Sahaba Ikram and Ahlul Bayt, all of them. But all these creation has to converge into that dot. You converge into Hazrat Ali radiallahu an. When you converge into him, from him goes out lines. And all the circle, whatever line you draw from the circle, Da'iratul Wujud, the circle of Wujud, that is Qabu Qawsain. Qaws is bow. Bow is what? A semicircle. So when you put two together, circle. Da'iratul Wujud. So Rasulullah has come to a maqam that basically he absorbed all wujud in himself. Aw adna, he is out of wujud. <laughs> to something else. Closer. That's why it says it says Adna, closer than that. So he became the perfect circle. Da'ira to wujud, qaba qawsain. Two, two length of two bow length. I don't know how they translate in English, but qaws, one bow, one bow, complete circle. So any point on that circle converges to the center. So all creation of wujud that is on the circle of wujud. Converge to that center, which is Rasul, to that dot, which is Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That dot. So try to come to him. Try to find your way. Every point on that uh, circle can start uh, moving towards the center. 
draw a line. What happens when you draw the lines closer to the center? The lines become closer to each other. So your your so hub fillah. When you love your brother in in for Allah, as the more closer you get to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the more closer you are to your sister or to your brother. If you put the lines from the circle, they are very far away in the beginning, but when you are going towards the haq, towards the center, you get closer and closer and closer and eventually you become one. Same point, you converge. You become one. In that ocean of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in his light. Because all of us, we have light from him. Alhamdulillah, we are mu'mins, we are Muslims. That light has to go back to its origin. وَعَلَمُوا أَنَّ فِيكُمْ no inside of you, fikum inside. Or fikum means among, but also fi, fil kitab in the book. Inside of you, there is, there is Rasulullah means there is a light of Rasulullah sallallahu inside of you. Find it. By finding that light, and by your sister finding that light, you converge all of you into the light of Rasulullah sallallahu That is true friendship. That is the true friendship. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from them. Make us from the ones that find that light and converge directly to Rasulullah sallallahu light. And his light is from the divine presence. Allah has created, like Sidi Shaykh told me yesterday, awwala ma khalaqa, uh, the first thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created is nur al ya jadir. You remind me that yesterday. The first thing that your Lord has created, O Jabir, O oh, my beloved companion, is the light of your Nabi. Inshallah, we become from them, Shaykh. So, so polish your heart. You don't have to draw. The one that draws is Sahibul Qalam, the one that has the Qalam in his hand, Qalamul A'la. He is the artist. That's why his name is what? Al Musawwir. The one that gives Surat. Musawwir is. Fashioner, they say, the fashioner, the designer, he designs. So zikrullah, be busy with zikrullah. When you do zikrullah, your heart is polished, polished, and you will start receiving the light of Rasulullah directly into your heart. That faiz comes without you knowing from where or how, some, some, some meaning will appear in your heart. You will say, ah. I never thought of it this way. Alam will come. They have said, if you have house, a pool, and through this pool feeds rivers, rivers feed to this lake, let's say. What do you find in the lake? You will find leaves, branches, you will find dirtiness. As long as the rivers are coming from outside externally into the pool, there is dirt. Your heart gets information from the five physical senses. Your five physical senses, you read, you hear, you see, whatever it is, all this information comes to your heart through the five physical senses. But because it's coming externally, there's always dirt in it. Dirt of shirk, dirt of nifaq, dirt of riya, dirt of... Suma, Ujub, all these dirt, dirtiness is in it. But when, it, when the water gushes from under the lake, it's pure. So they said the alam of qalb comes from two ways. The alam to the heart comes two ways. Either from inside, this is alam al-ladunni, from within, unco not contaminated, no, no, no dirtiness, pure. Or it comes from the physical senses, which can carry dirt, branches, uh, leaves, whatever it is comes, it's all dirty stuff. But from within, it's clean. So if you are busy with zikrullah, that alam will come from within. You will be inspired by angels. Angels will, will throw things into your heart, alam, by the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam may allow certain alam to come to your heart.
that is zikrullah. So be busy with that. When you're busy with that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you what you never dreamt of. مَا لَا أَعَدَدْتُ لِعِبَادِ الصَّالِحِينَ Hadith. I have prepared from my good servants. مَا لَا عَيْنٌ رَأَتْ Whatever an eye did not see. وَلَا أُذُنٌ سَمِعَتْ What an ear did not hear. I have prepared from my, for my صالح, good ibad, good servants. What an eye did not see. What an ear did not hear. And what a heart did not think of. That means what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for you, these eyes cannot see. These ears cannot hear. And this heart cannot understand. So you need something else. It's something different. Zikr. Zikrullah. Zikrullah. Inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from these lucky ones that know the reality of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that can swim in the oceans of his love and respect and honor that can reach Hazrat Ali radiallahu an that can reach Hazrat Siddiq and the Sahaba and Ahlul Bayt inshallah all of us will be with them in Jannah inshallah all of us will be their neighbors neighbors of Hazrat Fatima radiallahu anha and Siddiqa Aisha radiallahu anha and all the rest inshallah will be with all of them Ahlul Bayt and Ashabu Rasulullah Ashabu Guzi أصحاب جزيل إن شاء الله بحرمة الحبيب صلى الله عليه وسلم وبسر سورة الفاتحة آمين. This is what, what I learned from my sheikh, from my teacher. My teacher. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise him higher and higher and bless him more and more إن شاء الله. Inshallah, we'll do a small zikrullah and then maybe you, Haj Yusuf, you can do some qasida burda. Inshallah, after, after zikr, short zikr, inshallah. We can listen. And uh, Sheikh Ataullah, you want to do a qasida or a nasheed afterwards? The night is young, Sheikh. What is this? You still have to be awake until 2 o'clock? <laughs> we'll be awake with you in our dreams. <laughs> so, inshallah, after zikr and after. See the see Yusuf, right? Not nine. Yusuf Bay. Yusuf Bay. After Yusuf Bay, you can also with Brit, inshallah, you do some qasida for us, inshallah. A'udhu <laughs> billahi minash shaitan rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah, Allah, ya Allah. Allah, Allah, ya Allah. Allah, Allah, Ya Allah, 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 Ya Allah, 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 Ya Allah, 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 Ya Allah, 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 Ya Aziz. Allah, Allah, Ya Aziz Allah, Allah, Ya Aziz Allah, Allah, Ya Kareem Allah, Allah, Ya Kareem Allah, Allah, Ya Kareem Allah, Allah, Ya Alim Allah, Allah, Ya Alim Allah, Allah, Ya Alim Allah, Allah, Ya Hakim Allah, Allah, Ya Hakim Allah, Allah, Ya Hakim Allah, Allah, Ya Ghaffar Allah, Allah, Ya Ghaffar Allah, Allah, Ya Ghaffar Allah, Allah, Ya Sattar Allah, Allah, Ya Sattar Allah, Allah, Ya Sattar Allah, Allah, Ya Qahar Allah, Allah, Ya Qahar 
قهار الله الله يا قهار الله الله يا وهاب الله الله يا وهاب الله الله يا وهاب الله الله يا فتاح الله الله يا فتاح الله الله يا فتاح الله الله يا رزاق الله الله يا رزاق الله الله يا رزاق الله الله يا سلام الله الله يا سلام الله الله يا سلام الله الله يا امان الله الله يا امان الله الله يا امان الله الله يا رحمن الله الله يا رحمن الله الله يا رحمن الله الله يا رحيم الله الله يا رحيم الله يا رحيم الله الله يا حنان الله الله يا حنان الله الله يا حنان الله الله يا منان الله الله يا منان الله الله يا منان الله الله يا سبحان الله الله يا سبحان الله الله يا سبحان الله الله يا سلطان الله الله يا سلطان يا سلطان الله الله يا الله 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 حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم 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 اللهم صل على آل محمد وسلم صل يا رب وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وآل كل أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين 
على أشرف العالمين سيدنا محمد الصلوات على أفضل العالمين سيدنا محمد الصلوات على أكمل العالمين سيدنا محمد الصلوات صلوات الله تعالى وملائكته وأنبيائه ورسله وجميع خلقه على محمد وعلى آل محمد عليه وعليه السلام ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته ورضي الله تبارك وتعالى عن ساداتنا أصحاب رسول الله أجمعين وعن التابعين بهم بإحسان وعن نمة المجتهدين الماضين وعن العلماء المتقين وعن الأولياء الصالحين وعن مشايخنا في الطريقة النقش بندية العلية قدس الله تعالى أرواحهم الزكية ونور الله تعالى أضرحتهم المباركة وعاد الله تعالى علينا من بركاتهم وفي وضاتهم دائما والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة <تصفيق> زيادة شرف النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى أصحابه الكرام وعلى أرواح أبائنا وأمهاتنا وحضرة أستاذنا وأستاذ أستاذنا وصديقيون الفاتحة آمين تقبل الله